There's obstacle courses, fun runs, and then there's the Medieval Rush. Tanner Schweitzer is the founder of Medieval Rush. Tanner is here along with his kids, Rhett and Savannah. Thank you all for being here, guys. Awesome. Thank you for having us. Okay, so how many years has Medieval Rush been going on? Uh, this is... This is a baker's dozen, oh as we call my it here. Gosh, okay. Wow. 13, that was on our promo commercial. You know, yes. That makes a baker's yeah. dozen. So, yeah, yeah. Unreal. 13. 13. Years. So is it lucky 13 or unlucky 13? Because this is the first year I'm actually going to be trying it. It's out. all lucky. It's, okay. It gets better every year. Good. So, yeah, no, it's going to be fantastic. And I'm so glad you're out there. Oh, my gosh. I'm excited. Awesome. Yep. I'm nervous. No, like I said. nothing to be nervous. We always fear the unknown, right. you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. it's super simple. Like I always tell everybody, our oldest rusher to date has been, was a 71-year-old grandma. And she ran it with her daughters, and it was amazing. She went through every obstacle, and she was giggling the whole yes. time. So, <laughs> yep, just have fun. If you don't like an obstacle, you can bypass it. We have just people do that. Just go around it, and then just go out there. And if you want to just walk, you can mm -hmm. just walk through the course. It's such a beautiful view overlooking the Missouri River. The train bridge, it's gonna only going to be there, I don't know how much longer, but um, get out there. It's going to be a beautiful day, morning. It'll be done by, the whole thing will be done by about 11.30 in the morning. Kids course is at 9 a.m., and then the adults start about 10.30. Okay. Yeah. So. How long is the race? It, it's it, we say it's a 5k. It's not quite, you know. It's it's sure. around three miles. I like miles. hearing that. Right. I like hearing that. <laughs> it's around three miles, and the, the biggest thing is, you know, if you're if you're not a big runner, you don't have to worry about it because you don't. Probably the farthest you run is about a quarter of a mile in between obstacles, mm -hmm. and you might do that twice. Otherwise, you run a little bit obstacle. You run a little bit obstacle. You mm -hmm. jog a little bit obstacle. You walk a little bit obstacle. So it's sure. it's obstacle. We have over 30 obstacles. There's a ton, you know. Yeah. So nice. lots to do. Yeah. And you're going to expect to get dirty, right? I mean, I see a lot of mud here. Oh, yeah. I see a lot of... So just right get ready there, there to you get go. dirty. Absolutely, yeah. And that's part of being a kid again. You know, it's like you were a kid. You didn't care. You just went outside and you jumped in the mud. You played all day. You didn't come in. Mom's like, get you in the bathtub, you know. And it's like, <laughs> right. no, I don't want to get... Rhett, you love to take baths, right? <laughs> you can't stand it. But I got to drag him in there sometimes. But it's fun. And again, if you don't like the mud, people are like, ooh, mm -hmm. no thanks, okay? Just go around it. Go around yeah. it. But once you're there, and you see everybody doing it and laughing right. at themselves, that's such a good thing that we need to do. you got to be able to laugh at yourself and just kind of take those vulnerabilities, those insecurities, and just throw them out of the way and just have fun and live. Live yeah. life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So. And you mentioned uh, kids, and we have your two kids right here. Mm -hmm. And you guys have done it several years, from what I understand. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just the kids course or the full thing? I've done the full thing Wow. Two or three. Two years, I think. Oh yeah. my goodness. And this will be my third year doing it, so. Okay, yeah. I'd love to hear your favorite and maybe mm -hmm. least favorite obstacle. Um, well, my favorite would probably be the pedal carts, just because it's like, it's just an interesting obstacle. You get to drive around the track. And then my least favorite one is probably the rope climbing, because I have, <laughs> like, it was just, I struggle with that a lot, mm -hmm. but, you the know. The rope climbing is for the competitive people, yeah. you know? and it's awesome. Yeah. It's amazing, but people do it, and kids do it. Kids, yeah, you see kids, kids climb all the way to the top, and it's so inspiring. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. How about for you, Rhett? Yeah, Rhett, what do you, do you got, have man? a favorite one? Well, I mean, I don't know if this would be an obstacle, but basically my favorite obstacles is basically the mud pit. Yeah. And, uh, That's an and, obstacle. And my, my, my least favorite is um, also the rope climb. <laughs> yeah, rope climb is going to be tough. But Gotta you know work what? on that grip strength. I thought he was going to take a bath after being in the mud. Uh, but, you know, very important is, of course, that a portion of proceeds go to the Dakota Children's Advocacy Center. That's yes. important to you. Tell us about that, Tanner. Absolutely. Uh, Jane Link and her staff over there, just amazing people. They do amazing things for children in need, families in need, reaching out, helping them. And we love to get back. This is a community event. We involve, uh, got to give a shout out to Todd Sheldon, Mandan football team. They've been helping with this for year after year after year, coming over and supporting volunteers. If you want to volunteer, show up the day of, the morning of, get there about 8 a.m. We'd love to have extra volunteers. We're always scrambling to get people lined up there. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a great community event. It's awesome. It brings people together 13 years, and it's something a little bit different, you know, and we want to keep it going. So come out. There's spectator passes for $10. Uh, bring the whole family. The kids' course is amazing because the parents are lined up. They're watching them. 
you can go along the course, take pictures of your kids going in and out of the mud pits, and it's just an awesome, awesome confidence builder for the kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so we have to let people on, I think it's next Saturday, mm -hmm. right? June 15th, yep, June Saturday 15th. morning. Mm -hmm. And people can still sign up to do this or online, volunteer. Online registration is going to end Thursday night, the 13th at midnight, so you can sign up, and then it'll be an extra $10 the day of. So, yeah, so get signed up, save that extra cash, and uh, otherwise you can come the day of and sign up. So I bet kids just love this. They do. It is. And, yeah. and adults do, too. You know. Yeah. So if you're on the fence about it and you're thinking about it as an adult, just come. Because people who come and watch are like, oh, I wish I would have done this. Sure. Right. Again, it's the unknown. Once you get there and you're around the people, you just you feel it, and then it's just boom, let's go. See, my friends and I, we have costumes picked out. Yes, I'm not yes, say dress one, up. But is there dress a theme? Dress up, absolutely. Or it well, medieval theme, but we had, you know, one of my best friends used to come up. He'd wear his banana suit. He was the medieval <laughs> banana. <laughs> Doug, give a shout out to Doug. Okay, uh, Savannah, she might be wearing the banana suit this oh, year. Right. So, yeah. 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 Oh, I put the pressure on her. There you go. Exactly. Yep. So dress up, wear goofy stuff. We'd have we've had some crazy stuff in the past. We've had the full alien body suits running out there. So yeah, just oh, make it fun. Wait. Okay. Either way, it's having a great time. Yeah. Thank you, Tanner. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for being with us. And to learn more, of course, go to their website, medievalrush.com. You don't want to miss it.